Thanks for checking out this video. This is a haul video. Yes, this is a preview of all the stuff I'm gonna go over with you that I got. Let me see if I can carefully place it over here. Um, yeah, so my birthday was actually like a month ago when this comes out. Actually, when this is coming out over a month ago and I wanted to do a haul video for all the cool stuff I got for my birthday because I got a lot of cool stuff, including some stuff gifted from myself to myself. Um, cause I do that for my birthday. It's cause you know, treat yourself a little bit. But, um, the reason it's been so long is that I was waiting on my vinegar syndrome order because my wife had given me a gift card to vinegar syndrome is like $50 gift card to vinegar syndrome. So I used that to make a purchase during their halfway to black Friday, um, sale. Well, unfortunately it's going to take them a long time to get that out. Uh, I had actually emailed them and they said it's going to be an very end of June or early July when they send it out. And this sale was on the 27th of May. So it's taken a while. They're a small company. I get it. Um, and I'm sure they got a ton of orders. So I didn't want to wait. So I'm just going to first read you what I actually got from vinegar syndrome with that. And then um, I'll go over all the other stuff I physically have here. So the first I got five films from vinegar syndrome. I had to pay a little bit extra but my awesome mother-in-law usually gives me a check for my birthday, which she did again this year. And she always says, use it for something fun. So I kind of split it up a little bit and part of it went towards the vinegar syndrome purchase. So here's what I got. Night Train to Terror. That was recommended by someone on one of the uh, 1980s horror movie superlatives videos I did. Uh, I think it was either Rosie or I'm sorry, Rose or Katie but I don't know which one, or I could be totally wrong, so my apologies, but I just purchased Night Train to Terror, so whoever told me about that, you should be excited, because I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to review it. Um, no big surprise here. I finally bought Mausoleum. I already kind of talked about the fact that I had done that, uh, so very excited to get that film. Uh, I also bought The Corruption of Chris Miller. This is a Giallo-esque film uh, from that time period, the 70s, that was shot in Spain. Really cool Giallo-esque film that uh, took me by surprise. It was on Shudder for a while, and that's where I first experienced it. But The Corruption of Chris Miller is really cool. If you like Giallo, that's a must. You should definitely check that out. Um, so I liked it so much I wanted to own it. Uh, the next one I got was Witch Trap, which been looking forward to trying to watch that movie because I really like Witch Board by Kevin Tenney, and I know that Witch Trap he did after Witchboard, and I also know they're not related. I know they're not related, but I liked what he did with Witchboard. I'm interested to see what Witch Trap is. And then the last one I got is Hobgoblins, which never seen Hobgoblins either. Heard a lot of great things of it being kind of like a so bad it's good film. So very excited to get into that. Excited to get into all those when they finally come. And I will be watching all of them and reviewing them on the channel. Don't know when. You know, I got a, I got a lot to review and watch. So First of all, one of the things my wife got me, and she gets me, she knows me, so she usually gets me very good gifts. Um, she got me a 3D printed sign, the Horror Den. Now, I put it up, let's see if I can kind of like make it look like the way it is, like back here behind me in the videos, you may see it. It's, it's a little bit actually hard to see in the video when it's actually hanging up on the wall back there. So that's where it's been going. Um... She did say once I, I found a place for it, she's like, oh, I wish I had gotten you a larger one. But hey, it's still cool, and I'm sure some people can read it, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this, because this is the Horror Den. I mean, look around, totally the Horror Den. So there's that. Uh, then I got some uh, DVDs from my good friend Rich, and some of two of them were films that he was just going through his collection and getting rid of some stuff. So he was like, do you want these? Uh, the first one's Rushmore. It is not, you know, this is the only thing that's not horror related. Uh, Rushmore, I've never seen it. I do like Wes Anderson, and I've never seen it in its entirety. So he was like, let me just give it to you. So yeah, that's not horror. Also, you may be surprised at this, but I don't own Gremlins. So he had a Gremlins on Blu-ray and on DVD. So he's like, do you by chance want a copy of Gremlins on DVD? And I was like, yeah, actually, because I don't have it, and I enjoy the film. So now I have Gremlins. And then this is the one he purchased for me, and I've talked about this during the 1980s horror movie superlative series, Things. He also uh, bought me Sledgehammer for Christmas. 
So he has completed the the double feature now that Joe Bob did that I fell in love with. As soon as I saw it, I loved how terrible Sledgehammer and things were. So I'm excited to dig into these films again. So that was that. Uh, then there was another me taking a portion of that check from my mother-in-law and allocating it somewhere. And that is buying popcorn from Synapse Films. Um, watched this movie recently and reviewed it on my channel. Love it, love it, love it. It is so much fun. And I was just like, I just have to own this. In fact, I was watching it with my good buddy Rich because I was introducing him to it. And I was just like, I love this so much. I just need to buy it. So I bought it while we were watching it. So I was like, that's where part of the money is going to go, getting popcorn. Then I also use the rest to allocate towards buying a few things from Best Buy because I found out that someone had put on Twitter that there was a new collector's edition Blu-ray of The Cabin in the Woods. My love for this film is endless. I know, unfortunately, there's a lot of garbage with Josh Joss Whedon now. He, it's been found out he's extremely problematic as a human being. But I cannot get over my love for this film regardless. Drew Goddard, I'll focus on what he did with the film. So um, I only had a DVD of this. So getting an upgrade to a Blu-ray was something I'd been wanting for a long time. And then I saw this special edition. And I'm like, I have to, have to, have to buy it. But the thing is, I bought some additional stuff too. Because you have to get enough to get free shipping. I mean, it's worth it. So, I mean, it's got this slip cover on it. And it's a uh, steel book, which is great. Looks really nice on the back. I like that all those creatures that come out at the end are on there and the guys. And it's cool that they're covered up too. Like when it's in the slip cover, they're covered up. And then you just kind of reveal it and it's like, haha, they're behind everything. So pretty awesome. I haven't watched it yet on this, but I'm excited to do so. Uh, and also if someone wants the digital copy, first person. Wait, can you see it enough? Dang. Will it be enough? Can you decipher it? Go for it. First person to do it. Because I don't really need the digital copy. But yeah, and then this is the way it looks in here. Pretty cool. Cabin in the Woods. Awesome. I'm excited. I'm super excited. This is like one of my top five uh, favorite horror films of all time. Just saying. Okay, so I got that. And then the other two films to fill out my order so I could get free shipping were Witchboard, which I have reviewed on my channel and had as a watch party pretty recently because I've been needing to own this because I really, really love this film. And it goes with my Witch Trap that I bought from Vinegar Syndrome. So two Kevin Tenney films. So excited to have Witchboard finally. Looking good. And then another film that I don't think about it as much as I probably should, but every time I've sat down and watched it, I'm like, man, this movie's so good, and I always forget how good it is until I'm watching it, and that's Green Room. Patrick Stewart, as a horrible, horrible human being, probably the most villainous role he's ever had, uh, and one of Anton Yelchin's, maybe, I think it might be Anton Yelchin's final performance, or one of the, the last few performances before he died, unfortunately, um, Imogene Poots in this uh, does a really good job. Just great cast, really awesome film about um, a punk band that ends up accidentally playing a gig at a white supremacist rally, and they don't like white supremacists, and then things go awry. Really outstanding film, so well done. I love it. Uh, and then... Oh, yeah, and then another thing that Rich gave me. This is really cool. Um, on, like, a canvas material, because he knows how much I love The Shining. Look at this. And I have um, the Chase Pop of Jack Torrance, like, Frozen from Funko. So he was like, he saw this, and he's like, I thought this was perfect to go with your um, Frozen Jack Torrance Pop. So I'm excited. I need to figure out, like, I think I need to get it framed Unfortunately, once I have it framed, it's not going to be like in this, in the frame of when I'm recording. So you guys won't really get to see it. So, but I mean, I'll, I'll be loving it. Uh, and then there were some t-shirts. My wife also got me a, um, I think it was also a $50 gift card to Fright Rags. So I ended up spending a little extra. Uh, that was the rest of the, um, 
the money from my mother-in-law. And I got three shirts and I got Chopping Mall because I love Chopping Mall. It's such a great, so bad, it's good film. And this is a cool design. I really like this. You know, buy or die. And what does it say at the end? Where shopping costs you an arm and a leg. Although nobody has anything severed in the film. But it looks awesome with the robot there like that. I love Fright Rag stuff. Their, their shirts are really soft too. So, And then I also got The Burbs. Uh, probably the best horror comedy ever made. I have so much love for this film. Saw it when I was super young and it scared the hell out of me. Even I know people think that's funny because, you know, it's a horror comedy. heavier, Way heavier on the comedy than horror. But yeah, um, love the burbs. So I got that one. And this, I, I could not believe that this was actually a shirt that existed. So as soon as I saw it when I was perusing, I'm like, well, yeah, that for sure I'm getting. And that is Lucio Fulci Zombie. Um, obviously, this is a ripoff of the Jaws cover art where, you know, Bruce is coming up to munch someone and they throw the zombie in there from the amazing, always talked about, zombie fighting a shark underwater scene in Fulci Zombie. So this is an amazing shirt to have and I didn't know that it existed. So when I saw it, I was like, amazing. So then the last thing I'm going to show you is the most expensive thing. And I actually bought this as an advanced <laughs> gift to myself. Uh, my birthday's in May, and I bought it for myself in, like, March, I believe, and was just like, look, this is money of mine I'm going to spend on myself as an early birthday present. Um, the Criterion Collection was having a half-off sale on all their, like, um, all their uh, box sets, and I saw this one, and I'm like, I cannot pass that up at that price. Originally, like, 220 bucks, marked down to 110 Godzilla, the Showa era. So it is all the Showa era Godzilla films in this, like, giant book layout, which, you know, has amazing artwork. And I'll show you the inside of it. It's super, super cool. So it's 1954 to 1975, all of those Godzilla films. Like, look at this I mean, the artwork in this is like epic in this. I don't, I'm not going to show you every single one of the artwork pages because some of the artwork I don't really think is like the best. But like just to give you a, an idea, like Godzilla versus Kong or King Kong versus like Godzilla, like that type of artwork, artwork pretty cool. Um, the Mothra versus Godzilla is really awesome. I love the way that one looks. I'll just show you basically like my favorite ones, but the, but like every piece of art in here is like done in a different style. Look at, for destroy all monsters, looks so good. Like this collection, like Criterion does it, and and they do it right. So like this collection is something. Um, not that one. That one's kind of cool, but no. Oh yeah, Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla. Look at that Mecha Godzilla. Pretty pretty cool. And then, yeah, and that's it. So then in the back is where they actually have all the movies. I don't think they, yeah, they don't have any in the front. And it's on eight discs. So the layout they have for it is actually pretty cool. You know, you have Godzilla going on a rampage back here and then just all the discs. So, yeah, so if you want, I mean, I guess what I can do is just kind of tell you Every single movie in this collection, which I probably should have already done that. It is Godzilla, uh, Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster, Invasion of Astro Monster, Ibira Horror of the Deep, Son of Godzilla, Destroy All Monsters, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla vs. Hedra, Godzilla vs. Gigan, Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and Terror of Mechagodzilla. So a lot of films for a really good price with amazing packaging. So that's the reason I could not pass this up. At some point, I do want to go through all these films and do reviews for every single one. Um, don't know when that's going to be. It's not going to be like super soon because there's a bunch of stuff I need to watch for the upcoming um, horror superlative series we're going to be doing which at the moment it's looking like it's probably going to be 1970 for the decade we do, but I'm recording this like well ahead of putting this out. So it's like two weeks ahead. So at this point it might, might be something else. I don't know. But anyway, 
At some point, I'll get to this, and when I do, I'm going to be really excited. But if you've been watching my videos, you know I've actually had it sitting back here on display behind my groovy collection, Evil Dead stuff. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. That's all the stuff. Um, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. It's That's it. That's a lot. That's actually a lot, and I'm very, very fortunate to receive gifts like that and to be able to purchase things for myself like that. And I realize that there are a lot of people who don't have that, so I really do feel fortunate and I'm not, I don't do these haul videos to kind of be like, haha, look at the stuff that I have. I do it because I know people like to nerd out about what other people are getting. And um, I always feel a little weird about doing these videos just because I feel like for some people it can kind of seem like I'm like flaunting the fact that I have money to spend on stuff like this. So um, just know that that's not my intention, but yeah, for a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, would love to talk more about it in the comments, so go ahead and do that. That would be awesome. Do me a favor and hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, subscriber to my channel. I would appreciate that. It uh, keeps me motivated to keep doing videos. And hit the notification bell button because then you'll know when I'm putting up new videos like this one or a lot of my review videos. But regardless, thanks so much for stopping by, checking this video out. And until next time, keep it brutal.